Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today we are going to go explore the underground world here on the center. Now I know last episode I said I was going to go explore the Redwoods, and I mean, I really didn't do that. I kind of just looked, and then we went and put up a tree platform. I mean, I quite literally flew over there, looked in two directions, and then flew over to that bridge. I mean, to me that's not exploring, and I feel kind of bad about having that as the video. But I really didn't have much planned. So uh, today, though, I do got some ideas in mind of what we need to do while we're exploring. So we're going to go look for some drops. I need to, I kind of got a place in mind and where I want to build the base, but I'm not too sure. Um, I also am going to go and look for, uh, what is it? I need to find two entrances. I know where one is. I also need to find where the sky entrance is. Because apparently there's an entrance I can fly into. Also, last episode, I forgot to do something over at that tree platform that we built. So if I quickly warp over. Um, I forgot to set up a tech generator so that way I can actually teleport in between. Now this one here, again, I just threw in about 60 element. This one does technically have more element than it. I'm going to give it 25. Why not? Just so that way they're somewhat even. But yeah, that should be good on element. But that's the one thing I forgot to do yesterday was to actually power up the tech pad. Or power up this little platform here so that way I can teleport back and forth between bases. So what we're going to do here is hop on Larry. It is kind of getting late in the evening. We're going to make this quick. Uh, we're going to hop on Larry here and we're going to fly over to the first entrance here. Now this one is actually the common entrance, I'm pretty sure. This is the one that everyone that back when I played on the center on the Xbox. Um, mind you, back on the Xbox, the center was probably the best map to play PvP on. Uh, this was like way before a bunch of other maps came out. This was back when it was only Island, Scorched Earth, and the center. I think Ragnarok was an option. Uh, maybe Aberration? I remember Aberration, like trailer and all that, and how they advertised the Reaper Queen as a mini-boss. And to me, that thing is uh, not really a... Uh, I guess you, you can kind of see it as a mini-boss if you have no clue what you're doing. So now, if you guys know where this place is on the map, you can kind of see where my arrow is. 36.7 to 49.7. You got these little ruins right here. Now, I thought that other ruins there where you walked in, it had that hole in the water where it actually that's one of the artifact caves. I thought this was that cave. No, I was wrong. This one is the cave. But this here is what I know as the most common entrance to uh, this cave. Now, I know it might not be the most common for you guys, but in between my friends, this is the one that we were that we were all like in the know about, the one that we all knew, or at least the one that we were taught to go to to get down here. I know, you know. I don't know if it was just because it was close to a spawn region or if uh, something else. I really can't remember why this was the only one that we ever went to. I just know this is the one that we went to. Now I can just swim straight up and we are in oxygen. Now if I am correct. Oh geez, I ran a little too far. Well, we're in the underworld. This looks really nice. So, again, the underworld, I do not imagine there to be much down here. But I do kind of want to set up a... No, this is going to sound weird as well. But a tech tower, you know, like how back on the island I had that little tower that I built out of tech and metal. I want to do one here just completely out of tech. Now that's a lot of resources. I still need to set up a polymer farm so I can get me a cloning chamber set up. And uh, then I got to go club some, uh, or I could just go club some penguins. That's Those are my two options right there. But once I get that cloning chamber up, damn, we are going to be able to get those farms going. Because first thing on the list is we have to go tame a bee again. So, 
Um, but anyways, I'm kind of just looking for another entrance or kind of a, a place to set up a teleporter pad. Now, I got all the stuff for the teleporter on me. Let me just uh, quickly do that. Then I'll hotbar these four things. I guess I don't technically have to take the binoculars off. Yes, I do, because I have a teleporter pad that I need to have hotbarred. Boom. There we go. My five things for a teleporter pad. Um, is this the other way to the, sun, the surface? Because I got a feeling this leads somewhere. Um, is this another entrance? Wait, is this the entrance I came in? No, this doesn't look like it. Okay, let's uh, not act stupid here. Let's dismount. Boom. Larry, come on. And I guess what we'll do here is test the waters. See if there's anything. I, this does not look like the one that we came in through. This one looks like it. Let's go somewhere else. Is this the one out in the ocean? Oh my god, this one is legit just out in the ocean. Where are we? Oh, we're right here. I guess I found another entrance, but I want to find the... What is it called? The flying entrance where you can just fly straight in. That's the entrance I want to find. This is one of the swimming entrances. And technically, right, eh, it just doesn't look like I'm in water. That's why. It doesn't have the effect. So, we'll do... I should have popped Larry while we were down there. Looking down, and then I could have hopped on him. Shouldn't have done it that way. Larry, follow me. I also realize I also have him set to follow distance high. Oh, my God. I just done messed up. He is set to follow, but it's set to high. So I have to get very far from him. And then, of course... Stops right above me. I might be able to get him now. I can click on his tail. Boop! So, now the place I was just thinking of just straight off building... The tech pad was over on that island. That we... we over there. Next to the... The little one that we came in through. That waterfall. Um, but I want to find the entrance like where you fly in and out through first. Okay, I just looked up a video and apparently I was not far from the actual flying entrance. Where you can just completely fly your way through. Now it's just back over here. Like past the waterfall by the blue mushrooms if I'm correct. If I was watching the video correctly. Shh. The video I was watching is by Krabby Tron as well. I'll leave a link to it here in the comments. But yeah, this is this is the, I think, flying entrance right here. Yeah, this is the flying entrance. So I should be able to fly all the way back out to the surface through this tunnel. Where this, or you could technically walk, I guess. But if I remember, it's like a you there's like a straight drop at some point. And oh damn. This cave is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought I just saw an ammonite in that water. I might be going crazy. I don't think there was one in the water. Um, I'm pretty sure if you just keep on following this up here, like the actual path. It should take you to the the drop. Because there's like a vertical drop. Right about here now? Is it over here? I've never been through this part of the cave. And it is a little laggy over here. Damn. Here. The vertical drops right here. As you can see, there's no water to land in. And then if you pop your head back up and out... This should be the flying entrance. Where is it? Can I fit? Larry, you can barely fit. But yeah, here's the flying entrance. I guess on the map here, it's 36.2 and 60.9.
from that cluster of trees right there, you can kind of see it. See it there. Then you got the view from where I'm hovering. Um, That's not... Blue Ob's over there, so that's the island next to Blue Ob. So, we're going to head back in. We're going to go find a place to go set up a teleporter pad. And then we might try and find another cave entrance because i know that there is one that you can like completely walk through there is a walk cave we might try and find the walk cave as well because this is the fly cave because you could only get back out via flying you can get you can walk in you can't walk back out that's what i'm kind of mean by this so you have to fly back out okay i ain't gonna lie i had a bit of an intrusive thought pop into my mind what would happen if i just flew into that mini sun like is there something like that protects me or do I just like insta die? I mean, that's something I got to like, I got to test, you know, we got to test it. Does the sun kill us? I don't have anything though. I can just like, I do though. I do have a creature. I can just throw at that willy nilly because I have a pteranodon that I don't really need. Um, if it dies, it dies, I guess. So. You're supposed to be set to furthest. Why did you just land, please? So let's build this platform real quick. Okay, so element in, generator on. Now that should be powered. Where is Larry here? Let's get you in a cryopod, buddy. And then we should be good to teleport back to the base here real quick. I'm going to drop all my gear off, including Lion-O. I mean, he might survive flying directly into that sun, but I don't trust that uh, that he won't. Because I'm pretty sure it's just going to be like a kill ball or we hit like an invisible barrier. I ain't going to lie. I just had a, like a little bit of a scare there. I couldn't remember if I turned off the breeding on the Shastasaurs, but I'm pretty sure I did. There shouldn't be any baby whales back here, right? Any baby whales? No. Yeah, it's all turned off. I I was getting started on that. Uh, that's actually what we're going to be doing tomorrow. I was focusing in on getting a saddle for one of the Shostasaurs. Technically, I was focusing in on getting three because I need one for the ones that go in the cryopods. And unfortunately, they only come in the platform. Okay, I got Lino dropped off. I got Larry dropped off. Now, Pteranodon. This is a sacrifice I hope you're willing to make. Because I'm most certainly willing to throw your life away for it. We are quite literally just going to fly this Pteranodon into the sun. Okay. Here we go. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? We die... The game crashes and I lose my save forever. I mean, there's a lot. Oh my god, it's doing damage. Turn around. <laughs> I think we got our answer. Sun hurts. Alright? The sun hurts. Do not fly into the sun. Also, it's a little cold. I'm, su no, I'm surprised. We're, we're a little chilly after flying into the sun. But, Pteranodon, you survived. Get back in your cryopod. Oh, wait, I have to wait for you not to be injured. Okay, so we're back. Gonna pop the Pteranodon back out. Luckily, we survived. Um, I'm gonna grab all my gear, and then we're gonna go from there. Okay, so you know what? I wanna change the time to day. Okay, there we go. It's set to day now. We're good. But yeah, so... Uh, I do got a couple creatures here I want to show you guys because I do want to actually get them named. So first off here, we actually have the Civitherium, this little uh, deer that we can actually kind of use like a thermal scope with the tech binocular kind of effect. We also have the Fastlosuchus over here. He needs a name. Same with the Archelon. He's been needing a name for a hot minute, guys. So please do if you guys got any names for the Archelon. 
My personal Eurypton is up next. Uh, I guess if you guys do want to name him. I've been having trouble, though, trying to get him to heal. I don't know why. He just takes forever. Um, next up, though, we got our Anomala Kares. He is another little guy here that we do still need a name for. Or she is. I'm pretty sure out of all my uh, creatures that I have out of my genetic library, the ones that I you know, have personal tames up, those are the only ones I need named. So, yeah. Oh, also, please do drop a name here for the Shastasaurus. I do got two of them currently ready to breed up. I did go and get, like, two out of them, but they were two bad ones. So, again, these ones are for the genetic library. We're trying to get a nice breeding pair there done. But, yeah, so please do leave a name for them. But, anyways, guys, I've said but way too many times, and I still always do. And, anyways... If you guys have found yourself at any point today liking this video, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified of me posting new videos. And yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshot Moe, signing off. Peace.